Hey everyone, it's Roman Rich. Thanks for joining me here. I thought it'd be extra special if I would kind of go into some of the tips and secrets that us road explorers use in order to find cool stuff out there, not only on just Route 66, but anywhere in the world, really. This, uh, these tips you can use anywhere. And today, we're going to discuss coordinates. Uh, coordinates, what they are, how you use them, and uh, how to find them. And so I'm going to give you real layman's terms as to what coordinates are and uh, basically how you can use them to not only find things but to share things more importantly. So uh, let's get started and I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my computer screen here so you can kind of see exactly what it is I see. All right, so here's my Facebook page and uh, to kind of get right into it, uh, if you want to see more of my stuff, follow me here at Roman Rich or you can go to my uh, other Facebook page, Hooked on Route 66. But getting into the coordinate situation here, I want to switch over to this Facebook page. This is a conversation between my friend Stephen Varner, who is also a very esteemed road archaeologist. And we were discussing uh, this bridge here, and I'll show you a picture of this bridge. Uh, we were discussing this neat old bridge right here. It's in Kansas. And I happened to stumble on this bridge one day when I was out exploring old US 54, coming back from New Mexico, heading back to Missouri, which is where I live. And so it's a neat old wooden bridge, kind of steel girder there. Um, but more importantly, uh, talking about the coordinates, I was able to share with them uh, this bridge, and he was able to find uh, some cool old maps talking about how it was part of I believe the Meridian Highway. And so what he did was he shared these coordinates right here. And what does that mean? Well, well, in layman's terms, what terms what it means is that you have your latitude and your longitude and there's a number assigned to that, you know, different meridian lines. And without getting too technical, you don't need to know all that. Basically, this number corresponds to latitude, longitude, where it's at on the global grid. Imagine the globe as a grid and uh, these numbers denote any pinpoint on the earth. What it is you're looking at, I mean, down to, uh, you know, a foot, you know, down to an inch or so. I mean, it's, that's, they're, that, they're that precise. So I can take these coordinates and just highlight them, hit copy, and then I can go to Google Maps, which I've already done here. Let me just, uh, let me refresh Google Maps here. Okay, I'll refresh Google Maps. Uh, let's, let's zoom way out. Let's, uh, let's, let's type in Arizona. So I kind of refresh things. You, you guys can see how this works. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna paste those coordinates right here in this box and hit the little uh, magnifying glass there and boom, it shows up right where this bridge is at, right there over Homer Creek. And uh, so there you go. There's that bridge that I took a photo of earlier in uh, 2016, right there. And uh, so that's kind of a cool way to sit there and uh, explore and share things. So if you're not sure where something is, you say, hey, where's the coordinates at? And you copy those coordinates and paste them. Now, on to sharing those coordinates, which is just as important. And I'm going to cover uh, both PC, Android, and a little bit of iOS. Uh, I've got all three devices here, so we're, we've covered kind of the PC as far as finding them and pasting them. So let's let's go back to our map, and uh, let's see here. We'll go back to our map, and let's. Uh, what else can I find? I'm just going to pretend there's something. Like, uh, let's go to the next nearest town, Eureka. Okay, there's some. There was something cool over here in Eureka. Is that it there? There was a little town or something here. I don't know. If you want to find a culvert, an old street sign, or a, a road marker, or just anything, say, say this here was something interesting. Let's just pretend that this point on the earth was something interesting. Like, say, hey, you know what? I think that might be a culvert. Uh, I'm going to share this with somebody and say, okay, what, what, is, uh, what is this thing? So you, you use your mouse, your right button, and you click 
what's here. Just click this right here. And then all of a sudden you'll see this pop up down here. I'm in Bachelor, Kansas. These are my coordinates. Now all you have to do is click. And then what's going to happen, you're going to see those coordinates appear up here. Click. All right. And then it's going to zoom out. It's going to tell you all your coordinates. And you can share it. You can do a lot of different things here, but just the real easy way of doing it, simple way, is just highlight here, click, copy. Now, if I wanted to say, hey, Steven, what about this here? I could go back and make a comment and say, what about this? Question mark. And hit paste. He's going to know automatically what it is I'm looking at. He's going to take those coordinates, copy them, paste them into his browser, whatever he's looking at, and he's going to be right there looking at the same thing that I'm looking at. So let's let's go back to that, and uh, we'll, we'll get rid of that because I don't want to confuse Mr. Varner and make me look silly. So, all right, so that's, that's kind of the PC version of how you um, find and share coordinates on your PC. Now let's get over to the uh, the Android device, and I'm going to switch gears here and do a screen capture right there from my phone. Let's check that out. Okay, so here's the home screen on my phone, and I particularly I use a Galaxy S7. This is in 2016. Um, not really sponsoring, endorsing anything. I just <laughs> sorry about that. I just happen to to like Android, so. Now I'm going to go right to the app, Google Maps, right here. I'm going to open that up. Now this is a situation where I want to say I'm out in the field. Say I'm out in the field and I want to uh, share with somebody, hey I found something cool. And so, because we already kind of went how to copy and paste and it works the same whether you're in uh, iOS or Android, you, if you can copy those coordinates, you can paste them into about any mapping program and it will find those coordinates. They work universally, they're not they're not exclusive to Google Maps or anything, it'll work in any type of mapping program. So uh, back to the Android, where am I at? I'm somewhere in New York. Wow, okay. So uh, probably if I'm, out in, if I'm out and about, I'm gonna have satellite turned on so that uh, I can see all of the the natural uh, assets that are around me, the, you know, you know, uh, bridges and roads and culverts. Let's let's roll down to uh, say Kentucky, and we'll go down here to uh, Paducah somewhere. I'm just gonna, I don't know of anything necessarily, but I'm just gonna pick a spot here in this field. How about this field right here? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hard press, and you're gonna see a pin up here. Okay, now you see the pin right there, but maybe you didn't notice that the coordinates appeared up here in, in your browser bar, right there. So you click there, and then again, uh, on Android, you're going to highlight, copy, and then you share it wherever you want. You can share it in a text message, an email, you can share it on Facebook or Instagram or, or any other type of thing. You, again. These coordinates are universal and they work anywhere with any mapping program and you can simply just take these coordinates, I just copied them, we'll go back, go back to my home screen, we'll open up a Chrome browser, and I don't even have to be in Google Maps. Let's, uh, let's go, get rid of that, let's go right there in the search, search bar, I'm just going to paste, and let's see, let's see what happens here. So, bam, it automatically opens up a map for Google Maps uh, and, and probably any other type of map system too. And I'll click on that and there it takes me to it. It takes you right back to those coordinates. So that's how you find those on your Android system. Let's move over to the uh, Apple device because it's a little bit more complicated. Um, don't know why, but it is. But it's, it's not a situation that can't be overcome. So let's check that out. Okay, so I'm going to do this kind of a more crude way and uh, that's going to be with a camera over the iPhone and uh, you'll get to see all the strokes and everything. I don't I don't use my iPhone but uh, and so I'm not going to buy a screen recorder for it. So here we go. Let's take a look at the iPhone. We're going to we're going to open her up. And I'm using my handy dandy 
Roman Rich Hooked on Route 66 stylus pen, which you can get at uh, hookedonroute66.com. Check it out. Works really good for smartphones and tablets. And okay, so when uh, when using an iPhone, you're going to want to go to Google Maps, but you don't want to go to Google Maps because the actual app itself will not allow you to pull coordinates out of the the application. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense. You can do it on the Android, but you can't do it on iPhone. So click the home screen. Uh, we're going to do it kind of the old school way. We're going to go to Safari. I'm going to back out of here. Let me uh, just close everything down. Okay. All right. Go to Safari. I tested this earlier because it's kind of it's kind of screwy on an iPhone, and there's probably faster ways to do it. But this is the way I know how, and uh, so I'll, I'll just show you real quick. So uh, we've got uh, we we went to Google.com. Let's just refresh this. Uh, we'll go to Google. Let's we'll go to Google Maps on our browser, and it's going to it's going to load eventually. There it is. Okay, Google Maps. We're going to click right there on Google Maps. We're not if it if it asks you to click on the application. Do not click on the application because you will be disappointed. It's not going to work. So I'm doing the best I can here with the camera. Let's see if I can get a little better. Um, you can kind of see it open up a map. And again, I want to turn satellite on. Go to satellite. And let's see here. So we'll just pick a place down here near uh, Rolla, Missouri, which is a Route 66 town. And let's just say that we found something cool on the outskirts of town here, right around this, this lake. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit there. And uh, we'll, we're going to do a hard press. Again, we're gonna just going to set our stylus down or your finger down and hard press. And it's going to drop a pin. And here's where it gets a little complicated because it doesn't bring you the coordinates up. Kind of a bummer, it doesn't. But if you come down here to your share button, and I know this is kind of silly, come down to the share button, click there, and then just open up a message or an email. But I'm going to do a message. And yeah, it's complicated, but if you see right in there, those are your coordinates. They usually start with the three. So we're just going to take and uh, select. Uh, if I can do this, it's been a while on an iPhone. So we're going to select there to there, copy, and then uh, now I will go into the Google Maps app. Let's go into the Google Maps app and it should be able to paste it. Same thing you can do, you can paste it into Facebook uh, or any other, any other social media sites, you know, any of your blogs or anything. Post your coordinates right here. Let's see here, paste, hit search, and it's going to take us there exactly right where our pin was at. See how that works? It's like magic. So now you don't have to waste your time trying to give people some explanation as to, oh, you got to use this street and then go here, go north, go south, check this out. No, all you have to do is find the coordinates and share it, and vice versa. Uh, if you're looking for something, um, this is great. I have people ask me all the time, how do I find John's Modern Cabins? Well, it's very easy. All I do is I go in, find it on my phone real quick, hit the coordinates, share it to them, and however it is, if it was an email, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, any of those places where I'm at, and just paste it and say, just take this coordinates, e even for someone who doesn't even know, take these coordinates, copy them, paste them into Google, and it's going to show you right where John's Modern Cabins is at. So works for anything, anywhere in the United States. Check it out. If you have any recommendations, let me know. This kind of works similar for multiple devices. And just remember, if worse come to worse and you can't figure it out through the app, just open up a browser and go right to the browser and just kind of use it as if it was a PC. It will always work. It will always work if you do it that way. As always, I'm Roman Rich. If you like my stuff, uh, please like it, please subscribe, share it with your, your friends. This is a really cool tip that people can use. And uh, if you like anything that I've got, my, uh, my Route 66 stylus pen, which 
I thoroughly enjoy. Um, you can go on to hookedonroute66.com. I've got a store that we're building over there for souvenirs and things like that. If you have any recommendations for things you'd like to buy, drop me a line, let me know, and I'll see if I can include it on my souvenir store. Go your own way. I'll see you down the road, guys.